is counting down the second circle away this is our time without a doubt time to ignite we're not going down without a this is our time it's mine we're not going down get this show on the road and I wanna feel my heart explode No more procrastination Dragging my feet below And now I want everyone to know The clock is counting down The second second This is our time Without a doubt Time to ignite, we're not going down Without a, this is our time Get up off the ground, take what is mine We're not going down, without a do <laughs> Your time without a doubt. <laughs> That's my ish right there. <laughs> Take what is mine. We're not going down without a fight. <laughs> That's my ish right there. It's your host, Teddy Peso. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for taking your time out of the day to come watch me sing my favorite songs from Hoobastank. Uh, <laughs> it was a great day. Wow, wow. Today was spectacular. Today was great. Today it was very humbling. But yet again, today was another great day. We went out. We set out to do a radio swap. Uh, a radio swap for FNET Radio. It was on beta. It was over there in Chino. Oh, no, not Chino. <laughs> Excuse me, Chico. We went out there, <clears throat> we were supposed to swap the RRU, which is the 4478 FNET radio. Shout out to Francisco, he was there. Shout out to Sebastian Gonzalez, uh, Fr Francisco Bramasco Payas. Then my boys right there, shout out to them. We, we came out there, we, got, we were set to do a task. We were supposed to decom, first log into NFSD, NFSD and uh, tell them to shut down a technology, which is the FNET 700, the 4478 RRU. It's, just, it's a square four port radio. Um, so we get up there. No, first Sebastian climbs up. Hey Sebastian climbs up. I'm looking like the pegs. In order to get the pegs, we had to back in our truck to the ice bridge, climb up the truck's uh, rack and climb onto the ice bridge. And then from the ice bridge, the pegs were freaking high, yo. Like, I don't know how high the pegs were, but we couldn't stick a ladder high enough. We didn't have a high enough ladder to get to the pegs. So what did they do? Sebastian and Francisco somehow put a sling as a step on it, right? <laughs> So this is the first struggle bus, right? I look up. He's already up there where I was still setting up and looking for my tools or whatever I needed to bring. But as I get to the ice bridge and I'm putting my, my foot on this sling, it's moving. 
So every time I'm putting weight, my all 150 pounds of my weight and plus my harness, so that's 40 pounds, so that's 190 plus with my tools in my bag, that's probably 200 pounds total <laughs> on one leg swinging on a sling that's like, this is my stepping, you know, my stepping boost. And I think Francisco had to help me on that one and push me up with his shoulder. And then now I, I climb. Now I, get, I, I attach my cable grab and I climb. Now, <laughs> when I get to the middle, right? When I get to the middle of the tower, there's this obstruction in the way. It doesn't, it doesn't look much, but there's a microwave, right? So this is the tower that we climbed today in Chico. It's a good old red and, red and white tower. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right, that's the tower we climbed, right? And then towards the middle of the tower, this is a 120-foot monopole, which is a, is a straight pole. So that obstruction right there, right? Doesn't seem much, right? <laughs> it doesn't seem much, but when you get closer and then now you're traversing, right? Mind you, I haven't climbed in a while, so my arms, for some reason, they were just... It was a lot of work getting up to those pegs. And then when I was climbing up, model poles are spread out and they're pegs. So sometimes you would have to grab them like this and like that. And it's not a straight ladder where it's like in front of you, right? And it's predictable squares. The pegs on a model pole is some kind of, it varies from, from each length. You know, you won't, sometimes you'll have pegs that's really close. Sometimes they just go in an X pattern, meaning like the pegs will go like this, and then the next pegs will go like that, and then the next pegs, but then they're wider apart. So your arm, you're climbing with a lot of, a lot of your arms, and a lot of your elbows, and your forearms, and your triceps, like all of it. So I, I know Sebastian, I look up, and I'm like, this kid is so fast. I'm like, oh my God, this, this kid is strong. And, um. I'm 34, and I'm climbing. I was like, oh, my God, my arms are burning up. I got to take a break. And the way you position off of a monopole, well, shout out to Joe Lopez. He showed me on a tower, on a tower leg self-support, which is a self-supported tower is a tower that has three or four more legs. So it's supporting its all its own weight in four or three different directions, right? So self-supported is my favorite. Pegs or ladders, those are tight to climb. Very fun, very easy. Some challenging ones, but still. But anyway, back to the monopole that those pegs varied and that obstruction in the microwave, it, the next peg was so high that my short little legs couldn't reach. <laughs> so I literally had to put my knee on top of it Get away from the obstruction. Make sure that none of my lanyards are 100% or whatever. My positioner. Mind you, my positioner is 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 tied to the spreader bar, which is this metal piece that goes on my waist. It's, 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 it's attached to it in a circle, so I could always latch on a peg and roll it around twice or maybe three times and then lean to the left. That's how I know how to stay positioned on a monopole while letting my arms rest because with this tower francisco said it he's all he said wow i i that that tower is not ted friendly <laughs> that was after the climb so we get up there i'm climbing it took me a while it was a couple of that that's pretty much the main thing that i, I was where that, that was very hard on the climb but i made sure to take my time if you're going to be an inspiring tower tech climber, um, I suggest go on your own speed. Don't overexert yourself. My body was already getting exerted because of the stuff that I actually had to do to, do to climb it. You know, no excuses. My arms are tired or what? Uh, all I knew was me and Sebastian, we're going to climb up there and we're going to climb back down safely and go back to our families. But anyway, so it's just my arms were getting tired. So I knew like, hey, don't don't push yourself too hard. All right. Like. You can push yourself easier on the ladder, but on pegs, they ain't no play to, you ain't no playing around in the monopole. <laughs> Monopoles are so are, is 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 no joke. Shout out to Jason Stein. When I first came, Jason Stein always talked about monopoles and how scary they were. And look at me now, like I'm climbing monopoles. So it's like you can do it. You believe it. You just gotta know. You gotta be fully aware. When you're up there, 
climbing, sure, we have 100%. Sure, we have cable grabs and positioners and whatever. It's still a risky job. And if, you know, if you don't believe in yourself, then you don't believe in yourself, you know. But how are you going to try? How are you going to know if you don't try, you know? I never thought that I was going to be a climber like that. And as far as I know, with the West Coast, there's a lot smaller towers, so it's a lot easier than the East Coast. As far as I know, I've never worked out there. But anyway, like, <laughs> when I get to the top, 120 feet, Sebastian's like, it's almost there. <laughs> it's, it's so funny because I knew it's uh, super slow. Okay, man, uh, compared to the younger guys, I'm, I'm pretty slow. But on that one, it really showed how difficult that tower was for me. But I've climbed difficult situations before, and with this monopole, I was like, it's the same. It's the same principles and everything in every tower. Just, just make sure you're tied off right. Make sure your hundred percent is on. Make sure don't do anything risky. Don't burn up your arms. Always look. Pay attention to detail. What is your carabiner locked on? Is it fully locked on? Do you have everything in your pouch? Don't drop anything. Communicate. If you need help, help. <laughs> so he said, <laughs> "You're almost there." I was like, "All right." I did a short little burst. We up there. Boom. Right. He climbs a rope. He had to pass a rope underneath the freaking stiff arms and the boom gates. So the ropes that's outside, outside of the tower. So we rigged that up, right? We take photos of the freaking F net, the old 4478 RU. Shout out to Francisco. He gave me all the cheat sheets to remember that. The F net radio, four ports, right? One power, two fibers, one grounds. You know, that's all hooked up underneath it. We take my pre-photos, whatever. This is what it looks like. This is before we touched it. This, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is the photo we take. <clears throat> and, uh, like, for example, this is the radio that we, this is the radio that we took off right there. It's a, it's a skinny 4478 Fnet radio. Shout out to the fire, the fire, the firefighters and the police officers and the EMTs and all the everyone that supports the Fnet. Thank you for your help. Thank you for your service. And that's what that radio was for, is for them. So we had to do it. And we, re, we, we take it all off, right? Okay, boom. He, first he called NFSD, whatever. And he, he had us, they had them shut down to technology, meaning because... We're going to shut this technology down so we could swap it, right? Okay, so boom, boom, boom. We shut it down. I take everything off. I hand it to Sebastian. So we had an idea. Shout out to this kid. This kid's bright. He's smart. He's got a great career ahead of him. He's like, all right, um, well, there's two ways we're going to do it. I forgot the other way he was saying, like, take off all the brackets from the mass pipe. But he's, he said something like... Uh, so the brackets on the top, they go upwards with the heads. You just loosen those, and then you slide them and pop them, right? But the bottom ones don't have the sliding feature. They're just all threaded down, which is the all thread bolts pointed up. So, and I looked at it. <clears throat> Sometimes when people say, explain something, I don't really fully understand. It's not that they're not describing it the best they are. They probably are. It's like sometimes in my head, I'm like, what is he talking about? <laughs> I'm trying to like gather information. Uh, shout out to Sebastian Gonzalez, my bro right there. Finally, it's a pleasure to climb at you. But um, for me, I was like, that's why I made sure I looked. I was looking at the at the at the RU in the bracket, and I made and, and I made sure like, okay, so you're talking about unscrew the top. We slide that fucker off. And then on the bottom bracket, on the L brackets, leave the L brackets on and on the plates that's attached to the RU. And then he said, just just unscrew those, but you don't have to unscrew it all the way. And I take it down. Yo. And I was like, okay. And he's like, yeah, that's okay. You want to do it that way? I was like, yeah, that sounds easy for me. Boom. So with our job, if you don't know, you just ask. So I made sure to verify. I was like, okay, this is what we're doing. This is exactly how we're going to do it. Boom, we take the Fnet radio off, right? Boom, boom, boom. Now we have to take the bolts that's attached to that, the, L, the two L brackets that's attached to the mass pipe that we detached 
to put on the other plate of the FDET radio 4478. Now he had to put that. I was like, hey, you know, I'll be right here if you need me to hold hardware or whatever, right? Make it easier. Boom, he had to fucking do that, switch the L brackets onto the back plate of the 4478. Boom, hand it to me. Now he, while I do this, now he's going to rig the old 4478. We forgot the fiber cleaner, so I told Francisco. <laughs> so we send the radio down. Instead of that, I think whenever we send it something back up or something, I think he sent the fiber cleaner with it or something, something else or whatever. All I know, he, he was rigging that while I'm, so this is the best part. I get to the Fnet radio. I connect everything, right? Everything. I look at everything. Boom. Okay. Boom. You have to take uh, a picture of the coax, the overall photos, um, the back to back, not the back to back. It's the uh, pipe to pipe brackets, or whatever that bracket that sits on the plate that sits on the side of the F back. This one's on the side. I've never. Now, I know that they have the screws on the side to attach the Fnet radio sideways, but I usually don't see it like that. But anyway, back to my story. <laughs> that when I finally attached everything, right, I take photos of everything. The, ante the, the, the jumpers that connect to the other antenna. So I took it from a top side view. I took that picture. And then... And then I take everything, right? I take another photos of the coax, of, of, of the reds, of the grounds, whatever. I I, I, I thought I, I, I put I, I put the fiber in. One fiber number two wasn't plugged in, so I just plugged in the fiber socket and then I plugged in the power. Oh, this is what happened. I messed up the power, the cold shrink. I pushed it too much, and there's this little string that you pull down that's going to hug like a like a rubber surface on the power so i messed that up that's what it was i messed that up and then i told them this is where i was talking about when i seen the reds when i was screwing in the 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 all thread on the bottom on the fnet radio it actually i seen the pictures that i all sent them to or i just took and it shows the picture of the red and the red was lodged in underneath the bracket with the all thread that's going under upside down to up into that uh, pipe to pipe bracket of the bottom part of the radio, Fnet radio. I look at it, I take it all out, I was like, oh, Francisco, um, do you have a red? He's like, hmm, okay. Yeah, I might have one. It's a three, he's like, how much? It's like, I see zero, zero, 003, so it's like a three meter. It's like, oh, okay. He runs and gets it, right? That's when he puts the fiber cleaner <clears throat> with that that he's going to send up was that that three meter red right this is in my job yo like <laughs> i was like we were almost done right easy swap my second radio swap shout out to sebastian gonzalez he made it easier but i set that up and then i was like don't we need the fiber cleaner too? You know what I forgot? Bring the fiber cleaner up. Because when we connect it back in, I don't want to come back to this radio. <laughs> I don't want to be the guy who installed it and have to be the reason to come back to this freaking radio. Uh-uh. No. So, so I was like, so I was like, mm-mm. No. So I was like, Francisco, I was going to just let it be, but I was like, in, no, in my conscience that I'm on a tro Tiger Team team. And we're on the troubleshooting team. And I don't want to come back because it was me who installed that and we got to go back. <laughs> like, I'll learn, but, like, I already know what's right. And I, and I tried to black tape. I tried to black tape the red. And then uh, that's what it was. He sent the cold shrink up with the fiber cleaner. I was like, you might as well send the cold shrink up. We might as well redo this, right? I sent the cold shrink up, sent the fiber cleaner up. And then the freaking three meter uh, red. So so now I, I just knew in my my job I was like I'm not I'm not gonna get Sebastian to go down there. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna get Sebastian to go all the way down to the antenna. And it's like this is the farthest I've ever gone. It's like right in my head it clicked. I was just like I know I'm going to do this. I see it. I know where it's at. It's three meters. Come on. Like, <laughs> he sends it all up, right? I don't know what I did first. Did I do the power? I think I think I did the power first, right? I almost effed it up again. Because <laughs> the first time I pushed it up too much and then did 
pull the string so the bottom part of the of the rubber grommet piece that's supposed to suck in as you pull the string and it sucks in right to 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 weatherproof and weather seal the power so that rain and whatever doesn't go into that i almost messed it up that i didn't pull i didn't push up hard enough but i think you could see a little bit of it but you can get away with that like i i sent a photo and you can't even see it but anyway, like, because I, I just wanted to make sure that it's going to cover the top and it's going to cover the bottom. So I didn't F up that second one. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I think I did that. And then, and then, uh, what was that? I, I, uh, I did, I did, I think I did the grounds. I think I did the grounds next. And I, I was doing this ancient old trick that i've seen tower techs use because this nut that comes in the fnet radio there's only two nuts and you can't find those anywhere else so if you drop them you drop them and mind you it was not me installing it one time but i've seen george drop it when i was the greenie and we dropped one if we were on a monopole too on a small one in day nevada but we dropped them from the man lift and we never found it <laughs> But I am honestly to say that I have done a lot of installing of the those hardwares using the tape method so the so the screw doesn't fall out of the screwdriver. I can accomplishly say that I haven't dropped any of those nuts. But when I'm on the ground, I'll drop them all fucking day. But anyway, we switched. <clears throat> I, 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 put, I put the grounds on. I put the power on, right? And then I think the last thing I was going to do was attach that ret. So I go all the way down, right, with the ret. It's like on the carabiner attached to my hip where my hundo is at. So I set up my D-ring. Or it's, I think it's already set up before. I put, put my 100% on it just in case, you know, it's closer. So when I go all the way down, it has enough length. It's, it's my three meter my three feet or something, my three feet yellow D ring go all the way down. I was like, I'm comfortable. I've I've, I've hanged off 152 feet right underneath a, a freaking boom gate underneath antennas. But this time I was on this crow's nest on the top on 120 and there was a lot of wind. <laughs> so I go all the way down. I have two things to do. I have to decom an old red. I know I'm going to take it off. I know it looks better. You get it out of the way, and at, detach that and attach the the current red that we're gonna, you know, run to the Fnet radio. Right? I gotta take that, cut off some freaking zip ties, take off the old one first, right? And then, as I go down from underneath, zip tie or attach the new red zip tie here, zip tie there, right? As I, and then as I go up, I'm going to do the things that I need to do before I leave that area. So I know I need to find, no, take a photo of the coax of the underneath the antenna with the rat. Boom, take a picture. And then the zip ties that it's being secured. Boom, take a picture. As I go up, <laughs> this is the lowest I've ever been. As I go up, the horizontal is farther than my arms. But I know there's a mass pipe and there's an antenna on position four. If there's four antennas, I don't remember. I wasn't really looking. I think there was four antennas. Position four or three, let's just say, right? At, all the way at the end. But I had nothing to step on. And I had nothing to reach. Usually if I have something to reach above me, I could hug it. Right? <laughs> there's nothing. So on position one, on the next sector that was really close to us, I seen in front of me a freaking mass pipe so I'm taking my leg <laughs> like this and I pull myself up <laughs> from the depths of the sky into back to the boom gate so I'm taking photos of that as as I go up while we're securing the red I already passed it to freaking to S Sebastian and he's already connected that red that's how you know tower techs works energy, you know, they know like one, one's going to go out here, then I'm going to go there and assist Ted. If he's going to go out there, he's going to go all the way underneath the antenna. <laughs> and when I was taking a photo, the wind was blowing so hard, I kept swinging. 
I heard Sebastian laugh. It was so funny. I was like, stop. <laughs> Take a photo of as we go up, right? Make sure everything. That was the last thing I think we did was is a. Uh, is this is the wreck connecting the wreck because I've connected everything at that straighten the jumpers while we wait for that uh, NFSD to to see if it's if if the 4478 Fnet radio is running correctly we still have to wait everything you know we connected the lights are on whatever right he said take ser- take picture of the light serial number the coax the 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 grounds the reds anything just you might think that may be out of place it's never bad to take enough too much photos i took whatever i you know like the the four half inch screws that's on the plate the back the pipe to pipe back uh the brackets that are back of the radio, all the connections of the the fiber, and then the power connection with the cold shrink, the grounds connected, um, all the coax with the jumpers, all that. Take all photos. This is the second time I'm taking the overall photos. After that first time, I smashed in that red. <laughs> yeah, we could have been out early, but it was a whole extra hour. No, nothing complaining. No one complained. No one said anything. It is what it is. I made an executive decision, Francisco. This red is damaged. <laughs> Send me out the fiber cleaner too. I need the fiber cleaner. I need the fiber cleaner and I need that three meter red. And what else did he send me? <laughs> Some zip ties. But anyway, I was like, okay, boom. And then I hear Francisco. All right. Um, Undog, uh, I undogged the rope, right? So this is what I want to show you guys. He undogged the rope. Wait. Hold on real quick. I'm trying to see which part of the day this was. Um... Okay, so that's the first video, right? I'll show you this. This is the first video, right? Hold on. Uh, hold on, D-back. Oh. Uh. Ah, so this is the first video, right? We're up here. He's he's pulling the rope. There's Francisco by the truck. It's hella windy. There he is. The freaking Francisco strength with the F-150. There's uh, Sebastian right there, my boy, Sebastian Gonzalez. We finally got two of the Gonzalez's on the freaking crew. Oh, that's Chico. There's some structure right there that looks like a bullet, like a crayon. That's what words from Sebastian. That's what it is. Right? There's that video. That's that F net. This is the F net, I think. Uh, we haven't taken off yet. That's the F net. That's our target. That's what we need to swap. And I think he was pulling up the F net radio right there. <clears throat> right? So, there's a view. Okay. Let's, I, I want to get the stream going, but I just want to share this. Right? And this is when it was detached. We took, we, we decommed the old 4478. And that's where he was taking the L brackets from that 4478 radio and he's going to attach it to the brand new 4478 radio and that's that's where that big story that I told you there's Sebastian right there there's that big story right there right when he's setting that up <clears throat> right when I was setting that up or he was setting that up I was doing this video <laughs> Damn, that's a long video hold on Right? Wait. 
let's, let's restart that. So that's all the jumpers, the grounds, the power, the fiber, right? Luckily, luckily I didn't destroy, I didn't destroy uh, <clears throat> those connections, right? So look at now, there's Sebastian switching up the L brackets behind or it's on the side of the radio. Those are back-to-backs that are holding two radios back-to-back, -back, obviously. There's the connection. There's me. I got to show myself always. <laughs> so while he was doing that, I was doing this. <laughs> it's good to be back up there. It's good to be on top. The best office in the world. All right, that's what we did today on a Friday. I know, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to play Halo 2, but I got to get this done. The boys are calling. Send them, you know, shout out to you guys, but I got to get this Miles Morales uh, freaking video done and sharing my tower tech stories, you know what I'm talking about? I just want to share two more videos. So this is where he snapped the line. This is where he snapped the line. See how windy... This is where he's going to snap the line. Boom. <laughs> Shout out to Sebastian Gonzalez and Francisco Bermasco Paez and Ted Gonzalez. We kicked ass today. We were there set with a task. And so far, we, we, did, we did our duty. That was it? Okay, so one more last video. This is where uh, we're about to leave. And I was just taking one last video up there. There's that 4478 brand new RRU FNET radio for the firemen, EMTs, and the police. Yup, first net radio right there. Looking out on the freaking horizon, the horizon and the and the Francisco with the truck down there in the F-150. And there's Sebastian getting ready to uh, climb down. That boy climbs so quick. Yep, that's our last video. Shout out to my boys. <laughs> yep. And there was one more incident that happened. I mean, technically, he technically saved me, but I was like on the bottom of the tower. But let me get to the story after this video. <laughs> yeah, there's Sebastian leaving. That's the boy boy right there, yep. So, as I get down on the very bottom, remember there was that, per there was that four foot purple sling, right, on the bottom of the bottom peg, and I'm climbing down. So my cable grab was getting stuck. It's hella old. Francisco's like, are you alright? I was like, yeah, bro, I'm, I'm good. It, it took me long, too, because I was still taking breaks going down, because I didn't want to over burn my arms and have them rescue me. But technically... I don't know if this counts as a rescue, but it technically does. So I've been rescued twice now. <laughs> never really action in... Okay, I've maybe fallen one time. But I've never, this time it was... Uh, so I get to the bottom, right? And I'm trying to reach... I'm trying to reach the, the, the sling. So I put my foot down on the sling. And it's just, it's just way too high. Or way too low and high for my cable grab. My cable grab is cinched now. And my foot was all the way down, and I'm short. And he needed to go up, give his shoulder, and push up. And now what I needed to do is get that cable grab off my chest. But it was all my all my 190 pounds or 200 pounds, whatever I was total weight at that time, is pulling on the cable grab. And my arms burnt up at the end. <laughs> my arms burnt up trying to, like, jiggle this carabiner and this locking mechanism that's attached to my chest on the freaking cable. And it's just, <laughs> you know what, I'm just going to lean to it and do it, whatever. While fr freaking Francisco still has his shoulder there. So he, I think he stood up more firmly and used all his sh shoulder strength to push me up. And then now they gave me leverage to make all the weight release off into the cable grab on the cable. Now it's more like horizontal, so now I can move it around. And he basically took all my weight, so I could take, okay, one hand motion, take off the cable grab, and then I freaking slowly descended down while he was holding my foot on his shoulder, and then that way I got down. 
Yeah, that was... Today humbled me. Today was a good job. I love my job. Shout out to Sebastian Gonzalez and Francisco Bermasco Pais. We, we got our job down today. I, this is what I wore. Haven't even... This... Well, when I was up there, I had my hard hat. But this is my mask, sweater, Carhartt jacket. This is all it. I ripped my pants a little bit. Shout out to Babe. Shout out to Stephanie Shipper. Um, she <laughs> she gonna stitch me up. I ripped it on the tower, but it's good to be back. It's your host Teddy Pace. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for taking your time out of the day to come watch me play my favorite video games and superheroes. And this is Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales. The last mission was the Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales. Uh, let's see if I remember a time to rally. And the current mission that we are about to do is Marvel's Spider-Man. Uh, someone left the lights on. It's your host, Titty Pace. So thank you for tuning in. Welcome back. Ooh, that was a whole freaking... Oh, that was a big story, but this is what I love doing on my YouTube. Is That one went a little long, but you know what? That's okay with me. Um, if you have any information, you those are the types of things that I love to share with y'all, and it inspires me to come, to come home, to come home and to share my experiences, because I, I, I just knew I was gonna climb up, and I was gonna climb down, and we're gonna go home to our families. And I, what better way to share an experience just like today? Oh well, my boys, and look at this. I saved it on the same spot. He's still up here. Where's the next mission? Okay, right over there. Oh, here we go. We got the classic suit that we just... Oh, we got the classic suit that he just obtained. Web swing. I like that he swings backwards like that. It's pretty tight. Here we go! Uh, the graphics so tight. I'm not even playing on my 4K TV with my PlayStation 5. I'm playing in my room right now. This is my old Samsung 40 inch. But surprisingly it has 120 hertz. So it's actually a pretty good TV. Track the underground cache. Whoa, I almost hit that building. Here we go! Oh! That wasn't really realistic. Okay. Shots what the? Mason's Six. repairs. Okay. Find a low profile way. In. Low profile way. Well, I thought he was going to break the window right there. He needs to stop. He needs to stop. You know what I thought about? <laughs> Let's go, Miles. Let's go. Man, this place is dusty. Man, this place is dusty. Someone left the lights on. That's Ty Francisco today. He was all like, you're kind of like a Miles Morales Spider-Man. I was like, oh. <laughs> He's like, okay. <laughs> okay, we're going, what is this, a backpack? Rick's ESU textbooks. He took night classes so he could keep running the shop during the day. Guy was unstoppable. He's unstoppable, huh? Someone left the lights on. Someone left the lights on, huh? Well, let's go. Oh, his girl, his girl Finn, right? ID for Ella Sterling, but the photo is of Finn. Yeah, that's his girl right there. His love interest. Ella is a decent match for you, but that hair may be wear a hat. Finn was working with someone to break into Roxxon. <sighs> okay, that's your girl, huh? How do you feel about that? Team that created new form all got sick. What? Rick Mason project Rick lead. Was project lead? Oh, 
quality assurance lead. Lab Tech 2, Lab Tech 1, Lab Tech 1, <coughs> Engineering Lead, Senior Engineer, Programmer, Programmer, Account Executive, Marketing, Safety Officer, Production Lead, Ella Sterling, Brandon Chambers, James Melvin, Cindy Shelton, Sonia Sung, Clayton Burr, Jonas Harrow, Todd Hamilton, Ian Forbes, Curtis Henshaw, Christine Son, Carrington Pax. Whoa. So <laughs> yes, yes, I get it. I'm obsessed with names. All right. So <clears throat> what do we got here? So we're going to walk around here in the back where this weird table is at. What's this, an Amazon gift? Or an Amazon package? Some what is that, a, is that, a fiber cleaner? GCSF. Oh, no, it's a syringe. Used for treating bone marrow <clears throat> decay. Whose was this? Flip, rotate, put down. There's something behind here. Like, no one's gonna fuck. Okay. Like, no one's gonna yes, freaking look through that. Room. Someone left the lights on. Access Finn's computer. Oh, you spell it with a P H I N. Uh oh, this girl is working on stuff. What you working on, girl? Or woman? No. Oh. Finn must have designed all the underground's gear. Funny how we both started wearing masks. Okay. I'm stuck. Sorry, okay. guys. This is a secret room. <laughs> I'm stuck. I couldn't. I couldn't move. <laughs> I was like, "Yo, am I really?" Finn must have designed all the underground's gear. Funny how we both started wearing masks. There's no syringe in that one now. Okay, now I can move. That was crazy. The syringe wasn't in that time. Okay, what's up? What, what, what we got here? What we got here? You gonna hack her Facebook? You gonna hack her Instagram? Uh oh. Oh, you. Oh, you just wanna watch her over and over and over again, huh? <laughs> no, <laughs> there's a new floor. We need to do this tonight. Let me. You sure we're ready? We have to be. You sure we're ready? They broke ground in Harlem today, out of schedule. Poisoning the city to make a buck. They keep cutting corners, ignoring safety reports. I can't let them pervert my work like this, Finn. Okay, first we flush the core, then we wipe all data. You're sure they can't just make more of this stuff? No. No, as long as we take out the backup supply in Jersey, too. But without me, they'll have no idea how new form works. Project will be DOA. I'll record us. Things go wrong, video uploads straight to the bugle. Perfect. You ready to save New York? Ready. Uh, she's saving it. There's a second video. Uh, damn it. No uploads. Phone must have been damaged. I won't let tonight be for nothing. I promise, Rick. They were trying to shut the new form project down. Damn, the graphics is tight. Wow. 
last known location of her phone. The Miles Morales really got his game, you know what I'm saying? I'm excited for the Marvel Spider-Man 2. The one with Peter Parker, but Miles Morales is in it too. But Miles Morales' game is freaking dope. Look at the, the, the graphics. Well, come on, Miles, get out of there. Come on. He's here. Yes, I always love a fight. Oh, are we gonna do a stealth mission? We gonna do a stealth mission today? Oh. Okay, We're doing stealth mission. We're doing stealth missions, huh? Guys, I heard something. See you later. You didn't see that coming. <laughs> you can't take down all of us. Aw. I was about to take you down. I am, just in my own way. See you later. This will go a lot easier if you come work. out now. See you later. Oh. Gotta find you, Spider Man. Is that so? Is that so? See you later. Oh. Back up here. Keep the pressure on. More friends joining the fun. I I like stealth missions too. They're not bad. Man, this is this seems difficult. Oh, fancy. Not good. Oh, they found out where I am. You never should have put on that mask. Getting kind of overwhelmed. Okay. Camo to get some breathing room. Stop this. Watch out now, baby! Watch out! Yeah! <laughs> I had enough! More. I had enough! You need to stop! Maybe I can understand what happened to Rick. That venom punch, though? OP. Oh. <laughs> That venom punch though? Mm-mm. Web swing! Someone left the lights on complete. Oh, oh, oh! Corporate espionage. Woohoo! And it's snowing. Visor mod slot yeah. unlocked. I know why she's doing all this. Something happened to her brother. Something, Something happened to her brother. Rick was working at Roxxon. The Venom stun enemies. The lead scientist on New Form. The lead scientist on New Form. Simon Krieger has been telling everyone how safe it is. He's lying. 
Finn and her brother tried to shut down the prototype reactor. Prevent further development. What happened? Don't know. Yet. Finn recorded the whole thing on her phone. But then she lost it inside the lab. I'm on my way to get it. Listen, I'm right here. Call if you... Will do. Go up. Upsy daisy. What do you say, guys? You guys want to do one crime with me? Or not do a crime, but you want to do a crime mission real quick? Web swing! Yeah! Oh! That was nice. <laughs> Look at the reels from work. Woo! Oh! <laughs> oh, it's so hard. We, I can't go out like that. I can't go out like that. I gotta do one more. No! <laughs> no! I, 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 <clears throat> the this it's just the level didn't end with such a, a long type of battle I feel like I want to do a little bit more battle before 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 I stop the stream I want to do one random crime or solve or save the day or I, I, I don't know how you would say that be here and fight a crime or something Yeah, activity available, right? More crime. Where, where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Right there? Active crime. That Christ swerving like crazy. They'll hit something. Or even worse, someone. You gotta stop them. Oh, God. I can't do this. It's that spider kid. It's that spider kid. Watch out now. Oh. Come on! Oh. See you later! Woo! Oh. Come on, press that, hold that! That's it? That's too easy! Where'd you come from? Oh, I, I talk I talk too soon. Completed active to activity tokens plus one. Stop the car without taking damage. Force the car to stop safely. One one got the maximum points for that. Stolen vehicle done. Miles Morales. Uh, yep, crime fighting with Miles Morales. Um, the next mission is going to be Marvel's Spider Man Miles Morales Corporate Espionage. And this one that we just did was was uh, Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales. Uh, Someone left the lights on. A story about Finn, his love interest. Um, I'm excited. I'm back. Uh, the boys are calling. The, they they want to play some freaking Halo Infinite. I got to load this video up. I'm excited to be back. Today humbled me, but today made me feel proud because we got the job done. We were set with a goal. We installed the 4478. Fnet Radio for the first responders out there. Thanks again, Sebastian Gonzalez. 
Um, without your help, it would have been not that easy. Thank you for your help. Thank you for your support. Shout out to Francisco Babasco for for being a freaking human stepping stool and 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 just just something to put my feet on. Always helping us out any way he can. Thank you, bro. Shout out to Fra- Francisco Bramasco Paez and Sebastian Gonzalez. Job well done. I'm proud of us. That was tight. That was fun. Um, thank you guys. God bless you guys. Thank you for your love and support. Thank you for always taking your time to come hang out with me and come hang out with me and s- see me sing my favorite Huba Stank songs and play my favorite video games. <laughs> Okay, Ted, who cares? He don't want to hear all that. The clock is ticking down. The seconds tick away. This is our time. Time to ignite. We're not going down. We're not a, this is our time. Get up off the ground. Take what is mine when I love the world when I